Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another visual pattern challenge. We've got a super crazy looking one today. Here is figure one of our pattern. Here's figure two. Here's figure three. And you can see this is getting larger at an incredibly quick rate. Your challenge is to tell the number of squares in figure four. That's a big challenge. But if you can do that, can you tell the number of squares in figure 43? And could you write an equation that you could use to predict the number of squares in any figure at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to take it on, pause the video and see what you can do. Well, I don't think we have seen a pattern that grows this quickly yet. So we can be sure this is not a linear pattern. It's kind of a, a pleasing one to look at. It's symmetrical. So we've got these five um, squares in this sort of checkerboard fashion. And then it looks like we've just sort of zoomed out and it's another level of the same thing. So we've got of these, you know, with the same pattern of five squares, we've got that same pattern of five squares at a higher level. And then the same thing here. So hmm, I guess at figure four, we'd zoom out another lever, level and we'd have a bigger pattern of five squares with uh, patterns of five squares inside those and patterns of five squares inside those. So let's think about this for a minute. I actually, I'm going to start um, uh, putting the numbers in here. This is just five. Here we've got five fives, right? So each one of these squares has five in it. So that's five times five is 25. And here we've got five of these five fives. So fives, five twenty-fives. So five times 25, that's 125. And so in the next pattern, I think we're going to have five of these. So five times 125, which is 625. I'm not going to try to draw that out because this is already such a complicated looking figure. But I think our prediction for uh, figure four is going to be 625 squares. We can take a minute to analyze the numbers. So I'll put in the figure number and the number of squares. So we've got five, sorry, in figure one, we've got five. In figure two, we've got 25. In figure three, 125. And we're predicting in figure four, 625. What I'm noticing is that these are all multiples of five. And then, so, and you get from one step to the other by multiplying by five. If we take the differences, you get 20 here, and that's 100, and... Well, that's 400. Sorry, that's 500. And what I notice is in the differences, um, it's all multiples. You multiply by 5 to get to the next step in the differences. 20 times 5 is 100. 100 times 5 is 500. If we did this again, we'd get 80 here and 400 here. Again, 80, you have to multiply that by 5 to get to 400. This kind of a pattern where you see the same multiplying by five in the numbers themselves and in the differences, it uh, points to an exponential function. So we're going to have some number raised to some power. And sometimes you can um, figure out what that number is just by looking at what's up there. Maybe this one jumps out at you. You don't want to be uh, led astray by just like the initial number, the five. You want to look at what it's doing each step. Is it doubling? Is it tripling? Is it quadrupling? In this case, we're multiplying by five every time, so we're quintupling. So this is five to an exponent. And what that exponent is, well, we can we can see if this works. Um, if we just just left it like this, it would be five to the figure number, right? And so in figure one, that would be five to the first. Well, that is 5, and that's how many we have here. In figure 2, it would be 5 to the second. That is 25. In figure 3, that'd be 5 to the third. That is 125. So we looked out here. It's just a simple 5 to the x power, 5 to the figure number power. So that is our equation. And then to figure out how many in step 43 is pretty easy if you have a calculator. If you don't, you might be in trouble. We're just going to say y equals 5 to the 40 third. And I'm not going to punch in, you know, give you the whole exact answer here. It's a lot of numbers. But uh, rounding off, I'm going to say 1.137 uh, times 10 to the 30th. So this is a, a 1 approximately with 30 zeros after it. That is a huge number. 
Well, how did that go for you? Did you see that this was an exponential function? Were you able to get this equation? Let me know. Thanks.